98% efficiency. Yeah, we can we can live with that. Attrition upgrade. Build some auto plants to build some tanks. And we are in the final age. Oops, didn't mean to do that. stuff. Now, when you reach the final age and you've researched all the re all the techs, you unlock four additional ones. One for each uh, skill tree. So here's the science one, the commerce one, the civics one, and the military one. So the science one allows units to be produced instantly. Fantastic tech. Uh, the commerce one increases the commerce cap to maximum allowed, which is 999, and increases resource production by 25%, and unlocks stealth bombers and advanced fighters. Uh, world government, all timer victories, city assimilations, and enemy capital eliminations are instantaneous. So normally when you capture a city, there's a timer, usually like three minutes or so, before it actually becomes your city. With this, it, as soon as you capture it, it becomes yours. And the missile shield, it's a, uh, well, missile shield. And it also turns back the Armageddon clock by two. So when you fire off a nuclear missile, it starts a countdown towards Armageddon. Nah. If you do reach Armageddon, then everyone loses. So we don't get free ship tech. So I'm gonna research that. And some bastard is uh, trying to get some nuclear weapons here. So let's build the space program. And the Super Collider. And then we'll research some nuclear weapons as well. allies being a bit useless. Why do I always get the useless ones? <laughs> Actually, funny thing, when I recorded my Age of Empires 2 video, I did it twice because uh, something happened to the first one. I can't remember exactly what, but something happened. So I had to redo the recording. Uh, in the first one, my ally actually carried me. I probably would have lost if I didn't have that ally, so... Good allies does exist. 99% efficiency. Efficiency, we can live with that. So 
if your efficiency efficiency is within like 90 cent I would say that's acceptable although you can just kill like one or two citizens or whatever it frees up your population so why not so you have anti-aircraft I think so yeah he does well, never mind that then So there we go, researching the... So let's build a forward base where we can attack. This looks like a good place. Let's build the Wonder Fort one here. <laughs> Need some uh, anti tank missiles and some machine guns. More bastards developing their weapons. Any other wonders I would like? Still have two more actually. I actually have a lot more, yeah. We have developed nuclear weapons. Let's upgrade it. Excellent. It's another wonder for us. Uh, Another city there. Wow, he's constructing that fort quickly on his own. So what that wonder we just built does is that it completes all research instantly. Which is fantastic. So here we go, our first army is ready. So as you can see we have our advanced fighter and our stealth bomber. Advantage with the stealth bomber of course is that it cannot be attacked by anti-aircraft anti units on the ground. You would actually have to de deploy aircraft to take them down. And they have insane range and an insane amount of fuel. So, very, very good. I'm not sure what this guy's doing in my city. Should probably be defending your city. He's being constantly attacked. There we have the Wonder Fort. Okay, so one more wonder. I 
Let's build a Kremlin. Doubles attrition damage. And then let's build a Forbidden City as well, which counts as an extra city, but it's also a wonder. Ah, let me demonstrate the power of the nuclear weapons to you. Uh, not there, because I want those wonders, so let's try not to damage those. This looks like an okay place. And there you have it. The nuclear bomb, ladies and gentlemen. Build another one. Armageddon clock started 35, so we can detonate 34 more bombs before <laughs> Armageddon. I'm getting way too much wealth, so let's destroy one of my caravans. Still way too much. Where's the other one? Destroy that too. Still way too much, but nothing I can do about that. This guy's so useless. It's not that hard to build. It's not that hard to build some, um... Ships. I would say it's sending my jets out, but looks like they're not needed. Of course, I did build anti-aircraft uh, building there. Of course, if they had... Uh, if they had the stealth bomber as well, then I wouldn't be able to do that. Let's see if we can help those guys out. Let's build the Angkor Wat. And as you can see, even the roads have been upgraded to modern roads. <laughs> Late observation by me, but yeah. He 
need a bit more in anti-aircraft, I think. since my wonder gives me these resources. Anyway, we can kill them off. Any other resources? His land. Does it look like it? And how did that go? That. It's not half their fleet. He finally has ships. It's a miracle. Guys can go mine, I suppose. Not sure how they those soldiers survived that, but oh well. And now that we have researched all the texts, we can get rid of some s more scholars. The only thing that you need tech for after you've gained all the texts is um, the nuclear bombs or the V2 bomb as well if you want to use that, but. need that many scholars for that. So we're going to kill most of them to unlock no, not unlock to free up. Population. My turn to harass them from the sea. It's a real shame that they don't actually make games like this anymore these days. There were tons of games like these back in the day. You had Man and Conquer, you had Age of Empires, you had um, Rise of Nations, you had uh, I'm sure I'm missing something. Uh,
So the scout unit actually becomes pretty cool in the later ages. You get like the sniping ability and stuff like that, but I usually don't bother. Uh, get spies as well. Spies can uh, bribe enemies to join your faction. can plant informers to gain information on enemy buildings and units, and you can use them to destroy spies and remove informers, but I don't use them that much, to be honest. Okay. like we are almost ready to attack. first. Let's try to damage their things and such so that we can just walk in. 